Wouldn't it be great to get behind the wheel and really know what you were doing? Oh, this is the fun part. Today we visit a performance driving school where novice drivers get to put themselves to the test in Corvettes ah! and these hot radical race cars. It's the Plus, it's Miami nice. This thing is nice. Whoa! We pick out one of the fastest offshore power boats we can find and head out to sea. Woo! And then it's one of the trickiest, fastest, most exotic things on wheels. The ultimate exotic vehicle. The T-Rex. It's all happening right now on Life in the Fast Lane. I'm Steve Nat, a lifelong gearhead, former racer and mechanic, and a professional motor journalist for more than 15 years. Now I feel really lucky to have the opportunity to share with you my insider's knowledge, industry contacts, and insatiable passion for anything with a motor. So gear up. It's time to drive like you mean it. All right, here's the question. What goes from 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds? Corners with 2 Gs of lateral load. Has 3 wheels. Costs around 50 grand. It's this thing. It's called a T-Rex. They make them in Canada. They sell them in Florida. And they are insane. Most people just want to know what is that thing. We have something that handles and drives just like an F1 car. And it's street legal. 50 states street legal. And it's Unbelievable. Of course, there's a long list of options available for the T-Rex, including a windshield. There's also no weather protection, there's no doors, there's no accoutrements, there's no nothing. It's a bare bones for the purest. But you can take some stuff with you, thanks to these waterproof motorcycle-style saddlebags. Branston Clark has had a bunch of high zoom sports cars, but he says his T-Rex is the one that really stops traffic. The ultimate exotic vehicle. You drive this down the street, there could be a Lamborghini next to you, there could be a Rolls Royce, you know, anything. All eyes will be on this. I've had this on the highway with the Lamborghini, and it's no competition. Really? No competition. The Lamborghini just stomps you. Yeah. <laughs> All the way around. Really? Okay. All right, let me talk to you a little about the tech that makes this thing work. It's sort of like a motorcycle that's gotten turned into a car. It takes the engine and transmission and the output from a uh, ZZR 1200 Kawasaki motorcycle and attaches it to this very low sort of race car type chassis, tubular chassis with full-on automotive suspension components. It's all driven through that single rear wheel. Basically, you've got an automotive type interface to control the motorcycle drivetrain. You've got a steering wheel instead of handlebars, but these controls come right off a motorcycle handlebar. See, the, normally the handlebar would come right through there. And here's your headlight switch, hazard lights, turn signals, cancel, horn, and this is the choke lever. Just spike off a Kawasaki. You've got a gear shift lever that looks like a car, but it's not the standard H pattern you're used to. If you've ever ridden a motorcycle, you know that the gears go sequentially. And then when you want to shift, you just go da, 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 da. It's got a very low center of gravity because the whole thing is slammed right to the ground. So there's not going to be a lot of pitching and rolling as you go into corners. It's got a very wide track in the front. And then you've got all these fat tires with lots of contact, certainly compared to a motorcycle where you may have something that wide attaching to the ground on the front and rear. Here you've got all this rubber. You add that to 130 some odd horsepower you get out of this Kawasaki motor inside this 900 pound chassis. And boom, that's why this thing can go so fast. How fast is this thing? Let's find out. Turn the key like a motorcycle. Clutch. Start. And off we go. Where my brain is being split in two, I'm getting like a multiple personality disorder. I'm driving a car, I'm shifting a motorcycle. A lot of G-forces that you're cornering tightly. It really... <laughs> Very sports car. One thing this doesn't have is ABS. You gotta be a little bit careful when you jump on the brakes if you're coming out of an ABS vehicle. It's a very potent driving experience, you know? It's very elemental. I'm sitting on the ground. This Cowie motor is screaming over my shoulder. A hot Florida wind is blowing me out of the car. It's not exactly your luxury sports car experience. But it certainly is unique, and it's very fast. And that, my friends, is a recipe for fun. For Life in the Fast Lane, I'm Steve Nat.